And the first demonstration we need to know is how to demonstrate that sound is a form of energy. If you wish, you can kind of spot what we're doing here, but how, what is energy? Definition, first year definition, what is energy? Energy is the, for the ability to do work. Study of Good, it's a very short definition, but you've stuff. got to know it. Energy is the ability to do work. Now let's go from there to say what is, because I want to show that this sound is a form of energy, so we've got to say, well, what the hell is energy such that when I show this demonstration, I can say, right, therefore it must be energy. So energy is a form of work. What is work? Work is you to move. Moving. It's a very specific definition. Khalid, open your side for no, It's a mathematical thing. It's it's something multiplied by something else. Oh, it's no, and by Force multiplied by Chris. Force by something. Distance by speed. Distance. You're pretty much there. Work is force multiplied by distance. Okay. So if work is force by distance and energy is the ability to do work, if I want to show that something has energy, I should be able to see something moving through a distance as a result of a force acting on it. Okay. So if I want to show that light is a form of energy, we've got to show that light can make something move. Right? And uh, one way to do that is by looking at so, uh, solar, solar panels. You can get them, you can have a motor, light shines on the solar panel, the solar panel makes a motor move around. So something is moving. If I want to show that sound is a form of energy, I have got to show it moving. I have got to show that the sound makes something move. So in this case, I just have a big old speaker that if you go to an old stereo years ago or it came out of the back of the car, so that's all it is. And when I turn it on, you get the sound. No big deal. Why don't we get iPod speakers? Any speaker would work, but the bigger it is, the more air. What's happening here is it's going in and out, right? And as a result of it going in and out, what is it moving? Air. The air. And the air, in turn, is going to move the table tennis ball. So that's the demonstration is to show, and it's magnetic too. All speakers have magnets on them, so I can just stick it like that, and it'll stay there. Now, the textbook suggests to us that we should do it like this. I don't think this will work, but we'll give it a quick try just to see. Let me move this out a little bit. And if it doesn't work, we can see a couple of variations that will work just fine. So I need to stop that as much as I can. Uh, okay. Now what I should see is that when I turn on the speaker, the speaker makes the ball move, but it's important that the speaker isn't touching the ball because you want it to be the sound waves in between the two of them that are making it move. Okay, so we turn it on, I turn my voltage up to about 8 volts. So what's happening here is the speaker is going to go in and out. Uh, 3, 2, 1. Did you see a movement? Yeah. Did you? If you did, you're better than me. It's very, very slight, and this thing was moving slightly to begin with anyway. What's, what's the voltage? voltage? What's, the ball should move a lot. Ideally, the ball should move as soon as I turn this on. Wait, could you just hold it? Yeah, yeah. See, it's see, very the blue turner thing. Very difficult to get it to stop, and my hand is shaking to begin with. Sir, like, try okay, okay, sir, it's stopped. Anyway, we're not going to spend too long at this. Three, two, one, let's turn it up as much as we can. Almost stopped. Well, it did move about. Okay, so just about, just about moved. Right, to replace that, if, you're getting one, if you've got a small iPod speaker, and you're and it doesn't make the table tennis ball move like the textbook says it's supposed to. Here's a couple of variations. The reason it's hard to get it to move is because a table tennis ball, even though it seems light, it actually it's a little bit heavy. So what we'll try and do is put something else there, which is even lighter. Does it work if it's bigger? It doesn't matter about the size. Uh, once it's light, really, the lighter it is, the better. So the lighter it is, the easier it is to push something. So even this is moving a little bit too much. But we should notice an effect. In fact, there's a second effect going on here, which is static electricity. And the balloon is unfortunately attracted to my hand. But it's, it's, it's moving just a little bit. Stop. Stop. <laughs> okay. What I hope, even though it's moving now, there's drafts in the air. So there's current in the air making it move around. So it's very hard to get it to stop completely. But what we want to show is hopefully it will move more than a table tennis ball. In fact, something strange will move here. It might actually get sucked in as opposed to out. We'll talk about that later on. It's almost stopped. Three, two, one. It got sucked in. And definitely it was moving. Now it got sucked in. The reason it got sucked in is to do with something else in physics, which is to do with pressure. 
and it's to do with something we don't really study, and that is, but we'll talk about it very quickly. When air moves very quickly, there's lower pressure associated with the air. So there was low air pressure in here because it was moving a lot, and as a result, the air pressure out there pushed it in. So it, it'd be nice if it just went in and out and in and out and in and out, but what happens is it tends to get sucked in. But to answer the question, how would you demonstrate that sound is a form of energy, you would give this demonstration and just say the table tennis ball or the balloon moves. An even easier way to show that sound is a form of energy to make it much more noticeable is to use a candle. So in this case, we will use, this will do fine. It's a bit tall, so I need to raise this up a little bit. I can pull it up to here. So again, you want to show that sound is a form of energy that it can make something move. So in this case, what it's going to make move is the air. And it would be beautiful if I could keep my hand very steady, but this is as good as it gets. Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. Can you get the other one? Okay. Woo! How hey, come that just gets sucked in the balloon does? There are questions I don't know. <laughs> if I'm being a lot closer to there, it's still moving in and out. Oh, it's making the sound a bit different as well. Oh. It is still a good question. I don't know why that's not getting sucked in and the ball is... That's air. It's, yeah, yeah, that is air itself, so it is the air Maybe because the ball is a solid substance and... Maybe because there's air in the I think all those explanations are perfect. You know as much about it as I do. But again, if you yeah, want no, to show... That sound is a form of energy. You want to show something moving. So this is obviously a result of air moving. So any of those demonstrations, I should turn this off. <laughs> <laughs> any of those demonstrations would work just fine. 